All right, so we've got a Amazon or eBay or whatever, 92 millimeter Chinese throttle body. I think it was 60 bucks, give or take. Um, got a TBSS or NNBS intake. Um, not gonna do anything major, just, just gonna open the, the mouth up a little bit. The TB is a little bigger about to that mold line right there and just blend a little bit down in here can't really see it but do this for the s10 and swap it over i've got a flapper wheel and some cutting bits but nothing crazy all right all right so we got to start getting close down here Anyway, I poured it pretty good, get the mouth open, then I'll blend it all the way back, try to get these high spots out of it. All right, I pulled the, pulled the O-ring out of it. It's easy, it just pops out with your fingers. Um, so you can see right here, a little bit of a lip, a little high spot. We got it pretty well blended on the mouth where it kind of tapers in nice, got most of the high spots out. I swapped this long bit, and we'll get that that lip out of there. Alright. Alright. So, it's roughed in. Obviously, I still got a still got a clean the intake manifold. I'm going to smooth it out some first, but you can see if I can get it lined up, it's hard to do one-handed. But you can see, it's pretty much there. So I'll smooth it out a little bit with that flapper wheel and then got to clean the manifold out. All right, smoothed it out. There's a, I don't know if you can see it, you can see the little hole. There you go. Need to deburr that, just razor blade, get in there and clean that up. And I gotta clean the manifold. We'll be done. All right, hosed it out real good, blowed it out. We're gonna dry it off and then put it together. Turned out pretty good. Doesn't wanna focus. All right, y'all can see it, it's done. Ported, blended, tied in, and clean. Going, it's supposed to be hot and sunny tomorrow, so we're gonna let it dry out a little bit longer. Right, put it, put it in front of the fan, and then maybe put it outside tomorrow. Make sure the inside's dry. Got to get a, another nitrous nozzle. I got a plate on the truck now. This is obviously not a three bolt, 78 millimeter throttle body. morning boys and girls it is the next day and uh go take care of some things but back at the shop um let this intake dry overnight should be good to go i'm gonna show y'all how to put it back together and then show you you know where we ported it and it uh how it turned out it is hot today and sunny which is nice it's been raining so it's good y'all can hear the noise in the background dad's cutting the grass and got an exhaust leak on the lawnmower that i have yet to fix because you know never enough time all right all right so got everything laid out here that we think we're gonna need got a 10 millimeter got a i don't know what size allen wrench 10 got an 8 on here i don't know if i actually need a 10 uh got it all laid out gonna put it back together no injectors yet i need the ones off the truck so it'll be a while i gotta get a nitrous nozzle in so i can put the nitrous in the intake elbow you know stainless allen bolts chinese throttle body ported intake mouth 
not going to do anything on the runners we looked at them and i mean i'm just going to leave them alone syntake performs really really well factory i wanted to get it apart but i don't feel like trying to glue it back together to port the inside so i'm gonna run it the way it is so i'm gonna go over that with y'all real quick set you on my handy dandy phone holder here go grab a uh good pull this out just with my finger so it just goes back in and we stayed you know i just didn't want to nick it or anything but we stayed pretty well away from it when we poured it anyway there's a there was a mold line in here and that's about what we poured it to some of it we didn't get as far the line wasn't as consistent but we made it fit really well so show you all that this should be fairly self-explanatory oh don't have any sensors i gotta get the ones off the truck uh i had a bunch of extra stuff like that and you know buddies need it and whatnot so i, I do sell stuff occasionally um but we'll slap this on here a couple of them started and then we'll get it lined up good i guess i'll get them all started and then line them up snug them up a little at a time now that I got it where I want it that way it doesn't walk you know kind of do it across like you would have set a lug nut that way it'll pull down even oh yeah all right I'm gonna snug this up and then I'll show y'all what we're working with if y'all can see that very well but we have no more lip there was about an eighth inch of lip all the way around the inside and that would have just been you know it's, it's not exactly pointless but it's basically like creating a wall it's going to create turbulence whenever you put a bigger throttle body on there like that same thing when you do uh when you port a set of heads if you do the exhaust manifold or the exhaust port larger than the headers you're hitting the wall here i'll tell you what let's go look at a set of those so i can explain that better oh yeah junk everywhere all right get the thing on all right this is a set of 243s that I haven't finished porting. Intake runners aren't done, but exhaust runners are. So, if you look at this, I'll tell you what. Let's grab an exhaust gasket. So, I got a set of inch and 7 8 stainless long tubes that were supposed to go with this set of heads. Um, but if you look... These aren't even ported all the way to that because the headers themselves aren't quite as big as these gaskets. But we we mocked it up. And basically what you do is if you poured if you overported this and then the header was smaller, you create a wall. There's a lip in there. And you you're basically hurting yourself. Horsepower wise, it's not going to perform the way you want it to. 
So the same thing when you bolt a bigger throttle body on an intake manifold that the mouth isn't open on. And you're just creating a wall to hit. As you can see, not the world's best. But you know what? It's free horsepower. Just takes time. So why not do it? Set of two forty threes. I got through two more sets. Three set. I got three sets of two forty threes and a set of seven ninety nines. We bought a. Oh, I gotta show you all this. So check this out. Picked up a fourth gen five three computer harness sensors front assembly transmission drive shaft right that's a 6l80 2014 fourth gen 53 it's got 799 heads and a nmbs or tbss intake on it um got 114,000 miles y'all got it at a good buy so it's gonna end up in something just don't know what yet but get back to putting this together we'll keep chugging along This sensor is real simple. It's got a it's got a keeper on it. Snaps down on there. Let's see if I'm putting that about where it needs to be. Yeah. So just snaps on there. Straddles the sensor. Pop that back down in the intake. Real simple. Snaps back on. And like when we, you know, I pulled everything off of it just to. Oh, when I washed it and dried it, I could clean all this. And so. Just thread all these back in. I am gonna snug them up. That way they won't fall out, but. You know, nothing crazy. We'll just kinda put it all together that way. Oh, and this holds the, um, the engine cover on. I got another one of those somewhere. But I got fuel rails. Pull the bolts out of those. I like to keep everything together. Easier to not lose stuff, which we're bad about doing. I mean, it's not that we actually lose anything. It's that we put it somewhere we won't forget where it is. And then it's gone. And you look for it and look for it. And can't find it. But you know, part of it. These are eight millimeter. I'm just gonna run them down finger tight. That way it all stays together. Anybody's ever messed with this? These, oh, you know what? Nope, maybe I can get it, yeah. So these just drop in, they gotta, when you pull them out, you pull them out at an angle, they come out easier. But, just kinda put it all back together. Wait, go put it on a shelf and it takes me three weeks to get around to putting it on the S10. I won't have to look for nothing. That's something I really recommend doing. If you take stuff apart, say you take this intake off a truck, right? But you gotta take all this other stuff off to get it out of the truck. When you put it on a shelf or set it off to the side, just stick all the bolts back in the holes. And you don't even tighten them up, just put them there. That way when you look for something, it'll be easy to find. Um, you know, set a manifold gasket, intake manifold gaskets. They're simple, real simple actually keep themselves on of course you gotta know what you're doing pay more attention they 
snap on. They got retainers. Boom, look at there. Same thing on this side. They got three little clips, one on each end, one in the middle. You can just kind of slap them up there. Line the bolts up. I'm not 100% sure. Pretty sure this is deleted on the S10. So I'm just gonna leave this off. I'm gonna leave it with the manifold. But I'm gonna leave it off for now. Just set it there. Um, same thing with these, because I think they're on the truck, so I can use the ones that are on the truck, but I am gonna just stick them with the manifold and leave them with it. That way, kind of keep up with everything. But there you go ported tbss intake mouth with a 92 millimeter chinese throttle body and i will do a video when i install the sensors and actually put it in the truck put the injectors in it and everything Ooh. all right guys well it's hot out there um but got the intake together uh you know i'm gonna probably work on the chevy too a little bit i got i got some wiring left to do on it not much wiper motor uh Speedo sensor needs a 12 volt power run to it, and then I've got a um, got to figure out reverse lights, how to hook them up. Probably build a bracket and just do a copycat version of Hearst's shifter mount reverse light button. Um, anyway, I'm gonna we'll get to that. We'll do a video on the S10 when we install the intake. Oh, and uh, before I forget, uh, if you guys you know enjoy the videos you know you can like subscribe uh i'm real real new at all this still trying to figure out the editing and the videoing part of it but i just i watch a lot of a lot of youtube that's about all i watch i don't really watch tv um but i enjoy i enjoy a lot of the things i get to do check out that hemi oh yeah but uh you know it's it's stuff that I go to YouTube and learn about and, um, you know, I enjoy watching. So I figured I'd share some of the info and knowledge that I get to learn. Um, but y'all, uh, have a good one. God bless you. Um, all right. Thank you.